So you made to the shipper or receiver or to the truck stop and you have found the spot that you want to bag into. All right, let's learn a setup for the 45. All right, so you want to pull up until your shoulder is at the corner of this tray and you're going to stop. If you are on the clock, then this would be the 12 o'clock position. Now we're going to go to the 3 o'clock position. So what I, want you, what I want you to do is turn your wheel all the way to the right and start pulling forward until you are at a 3 o'clock position and then stop. I don't want you to roll through it. I want you to stop. I want you to maximize your space, especially if you're dealing with a limited amount of space. Once you get to the 3 o'clock position and your tractor is straight, I want you to turn all the way to the left until the tractor and trailer is straight with one another and then stop. Okay, and we all know that it takes at least eight feet for the trailer to change track. So once you are straight with your tractor and trailer, you're gonna pull up another eight feet and just off the setup, you're in a perfect position to put this trailer in this hole. This trailer in this hole. Let's, let's, get, let's get some understanding. You are sitting on this side, on the left. Anytime you're doing a setup, you should be able to see from the side that you are sitting. If you can't see from the side that you are sitting, then you're set up wrong. It's just, it's just plain and simple. You're supposed to be able to see. This is the blind side. It's called a blind for a reason. I mean, you can't see anything. You're always supposed to sit up to the sight side. You're always supposed to do your maneuvering from the sight side. You're always supposed to do your adjustments from the sight side. Sight means you can see. Okay. When you get up here, you're going to turn your wheel to the right. If you turn your wheel to the right, the trailer is going to go to the left. Now, I want you to follow these instructions to the T because if you do this properly and you understand what you're looking at, this will work for you every time, all time, no question. All right, so here's what you're looking for. You're going to turn your wheel to the right. Remember that the trailer is going to take 8 to 10 feet for it to change track. So at some point, it's going to just going to roll back. But at some point, you're going to see the tandem stop moving and the trailer is going to pivot, what we call a pivot. That means the wheel stop moving and it actually starts to spin around. Once you see the tandem stop rolling and the trailer begin to pivot, you turn the wheel all the way back to the left because once it is pivoting, it takes eight to 10 feet to make that stop. That's why a lot of people are doing a lot of pull-ups because they wait too long to make the corrections. It's not something that, it's not that you're doing something wrong, just a lot of times people wait too long to make the correction. And then once you see that the trailer is doing something or is not responding uh, when you want it to, you think you're doing something wrong, that's not the case. You just wait too long to make the correction. Sometimes you, you do it too soon, but we'll talk about that in another video. All right, so once the trailer starts to pivot and swing your way, first thing I want you to know, that's not a problem. You should already have already have the wheel all the way to the left. And plus, if you see the sitting here and you see the trailer spinning your way, that means it's not going this way. Feel free to get out and look right here. You get out, walk around to the blind side, make sure that you're not about to run over anything. There's nothing over here that you can't see or that you were unaware of. Go in the hole, look at the trajectory of the trailer, then walk back to your seat. Now, when you get to this position, I want you to understand something. You see how the trailer is pivoting to your side? That is not a problem. That is exactly what you wanted to do. Now, now that you have this trailer pointed, it's, look, it's not too far over here, it's not over there, it's in the center, that's where it's supposed to be. And you see the pivot, you see that. Straighten your wheel and simply just pull up. Now when you pull up, you're not just pulling up just to be pulling up, you're pulling up with a purpose. You want the trailer to be straight. That's how far you know to pull up. Once you see the trailer bending, Straighten the wheel and just don't pull right, just simply pull up and the trailer will straighten up on its own. Stop right there. That's how far you know to pull up. Once you have the trailer in its position, you keep it there. 
Your only job now is to put the tractor back in front of the trailer. You have the trailer where you want it. You keep it there. Now your job is to put the tractor back in front of the trailer. Okay, you bagged up and did it right. You have the trailer pivoting. Now that you have done that, the job is very simple. Simply turn the wheel straight and pull up until the trailer is straight. Then turn it all the way to the left. Every time you back up, lean over and look at the window. When you see this pivot, you stop, straighten the wheel, and put the trailer back where it's supposed to be straight. Turn the wheel all the way to the left and back up again. As long as you see that, uh, that pivot, that, that bending in the trailer, stop, straighten the wheel, pull back up till the trailer is straight. Turn the wheel all the way back to the left, and you just repeat that maneuver until the tractor is back in front of the trailer. It is a very, very simple procedure. Do not sit there and let your eyes deceive you. Once you have this trailer like this, that is fine, it's inside. Straighten the wheel and pull up until it's straight. Turn the wheel all the way to the left and you just repeat that, pull up, turn it to the left. Pull up, turn to the left, pull up, turn to the left, pull up, turn to the left. And you will be in a straight line bag before you even put the trailer in the hole. It's a very simple procedure. And if you follow it step by step, I promise it will work for you every time, all the time. If you don't ever get the trailer straight, if the trailer is like that, there's no need of doing the forward left thing because you're going to put it over here and the trailer was never in the position that it's supposed to be. The trailer is supposed to be straight. Once you get that, or coming into your side because the pull-up will straighten it out anyway. Turn to the left. Every time you see that, stop. Pull up. Straighten the wheel and pull up to the trailer is straight. Turn to the left. And you just repeat that maneuver. I promise it will work for you every time, all times. Another episode of TTV, Transportation Translated Video Simplified. Leave a comment, hit the subscribe. I'm going to do some more toy truck videos because even on the toy truck, the procedure is still the same. Even on the toy truck, the procedure is still the same. TTV, holla at your boy.